Wings End, it's a very friendly community, very clannish community, and everybody nearly plays soccer in Wings End, nearly everybody. To think she, she could walk out onto the pitch out there, and we've been up there that many times watching games and seeing the way the people react to the players coming onto the pitch. To have one of your own walk out there, that's, that's the dream. Your own child walking out to the pitch, representing our country. You couldn't ask for any more than that, could you? No. Growing up in Rings End, being from Rings End, and playing your national stadium, which is just down the road. So, the best thing about growing up in Rings End would probably be that everything's like really close. Like, my school is like five minutes down the road, even though I got a lift nearly every morning. <laughs> I used to play football like downstairs in my apartment block uh, with some of my mates that I'm still like friends with now to this day and yeah I, there's a park like literally two minutes away from us um, where I used to go training so everything was just so close. Yeah so I used to go to a lot of men's Arla matches in the Aviva like I think nearly every single one of them like it does be packed with all the fans and stuff like the amount of fans from Rings End. It's great. You can hear the crowds before you hear anybody else. Once the last anthem was on, the hair stands up in the back of your neck. You can hear them singing it from here. If they scored early, you'd hear the, the roars of people, so then you just start running to get up there. Ivy started playing soccer, which is only four, down here kicking the ball around, and then someone seen her and asked her would they go and play in the World Cup for the six-year-olds. So ever since then, she hasn't looked back. She's been living her dream ever since. I grew up with Grace Port and like the amount of people that know me around here from like being in like the World Cup and stuff is is mad. Like, some of them do say like on their idol and all and like that's so weird because I'm still like then, you know. That was absolutely fantastic. I mean to see the amount of effort and work that went in from Abby's family to actually get it all done and then the support that they got from local businesses and Google and everywhere around to be able to put it on and then to see the crowds that turned up for the watch parties. When we were getting videos sent back, we were like going, oh, I'd love to be there to feel the, the atmosphere. And, but we were having the best atmosphere over in Australia. A year and a half ago, she was out in Shelburne out there, going from the 17s up to the seniors. She used to play in the Champions League and then come back up and then go to play with Rovers and then go to the World Cup. It's like a roller coaster ride. We don't want it to stop. Rings End want her. They want her up there in that stadium to see her playing because that's where she grew up, where she's from, and all the hard work she's put in. For me, like thinking about the crowds who like belting out around the van. Um, it's definitely going to be something special and something to look back on. And obviously I'm really grateful for all the support that we got over in Australia. Um, it definitely felt like we were home. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see the support that we're going to get. Hopefully we get the same amount as we did in Australia.